Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, Ken and I are going to demonstrate three ways of doing the guard retention when someone tries to do the stag pass. The first one we're going to demonstrate is very simple, but remember, safety first. When I say safety first, it's because of this. If I stack Kennedy, the way I'm doing so, if Kennedy goes straight and I keep applying the pressure the way I'm doing so with my chest around Kennedy's hips, sooner or later Kennedy's going to get hurt. When someone stacks you, Kennedy's going to pick one side and Kennedy's going to roll over his shoulder. He's rolling over his right shoulder. When Kennedy does that, Kennedy's going to complete the roll the way he just did. He's going to look at me and he's going to roll back and he will put back to the guard with the control the way he just did right now. Why? Because if I push Kennedy this way and he can't deliver the legs and if I move to the side, if Kennedy's not seeing me, I'll be able to land on Kennedy's side mount. If we do the way I just showed you right now, which is I'm trying to stack Kennedy straight. Kennedy's going to roll over his right shoulder. When he rolls, I'm going to move to the side. He'll follow me and he'll be able to roll, keep his knees towards his chest the way he just did and Kennedy will be able to play guard. Once again, Kennedy's playing guard and I went for the stack pass. Instead of going straight and let the person stack you and you get hurt, you roll over the shoulder and tell your partner to not put a pressure, then you can practice and the is going to roll back, hiding his head and pulling back to the guard. And we're going to do the drill once again on the other side. I stack, Kennedy, he rolls and Kennedy will roll back. And I stay in front of Kennedy. If I need to use my footwork later, I can use my footwork, okay, to do the pass. I stack Kennedy, and Kennedy will roll, he'll pick one side, he rolls back, and Kennedy will be able to put it back to the guard. Move this way, please, Kennedy. I'm going to repeat it again. Instead of going straight, my goal is to stack Kennedy straight. My goal is to do this, there. And I'll be able to put a lot of pressure on Kennedy, and Kennedy will give up on the position, and I'll be able to take his back, yeah, or pass his guard. As I stack Kennedy, he's going to pick one side. Drill the fundamentals, he rolls over his right shoulder, and Kennedy's going to roll back, and Kennedy will be able to put it back to the guard. Again, on the other side, and roll back. Perfect. When you finish this one, you have to drill it over and over and over and over again. You understand this one? Yes, Fabrinha, I understood this one. Now let's move up to the next one. Fabrinha, when do I use this one? Remember, when the person stacks you and they take the pressure of you. And Fabrinha, I am not following you. What, what do you mean? I'm going to demonstrate it once again. If I Put the pressure on Kennedy the way I just did to do the stack pass, yes? Kennedy is going to roll on his shoulder. I was expecting Kennedy to stay here, then I can, it buys me time to do the pass I want to do. But when Kennedy rolls over his shoulder, it seems like I'm going to take a little bit of pressure over Kennedy. If I do that, Kennedy's going to look where I am at and he's going to roll back. If I'm here, where I was at, Kennedy will be able to put it back to the guard, okay? That's when you use the first one. My goal is to do the pass. I'm going there, he picks one side, when he rolls, I'm already there, on his back. I'm going to do it once again. He rolls over, I'm expecting Kennedy to roll. When he rolls over his shoulder, I turn around and I'll be able to end it up on Kennedy's back. When I try to stack Kennedy, Kennedy's going to pick one side. When Kennedy picks one side, I'll try to take Kennedy's back and Kennedy's going to get the underhook to not let me take his back. I'm going to stack Kennedy slow, 
He's going to pick one side. I'll try to take Kenny's back immediately. Kenny's gonna fall on the side. And if you notice that from this angle, Kennedy, he got the underhook. When he got when he gets the underhook, I have two options. One, if I put if I keep putting pressure over Kennedy, Kennedy's going to bump me and it's going to end it up on my back. Second, I saw that Kennedy, he got the underhook. I move back, I disengage, and Kennedy will be able to play guard. I like to say that Kennedy is recovering his guard because I'm letting him recover his guard, which means that we are having the silence conversation. I stack Kennedy, Kennedy rolls over his shoulder, I try to take his back, Kennedy gets the underhook, and Kennedy is telling me, I got the underhook, if you put the pressure over me, I'm going to take your back. If you move back, I'm going to put it back to the guard and everybody's going to be okay. Yeah? Does this make sense to everybody? Yeah? Okay. Let's take a look on it one more time then. I stack Kennedy, he rolls over the shoulder. I'll try to take his back. As I'm rolling to the side, look at his arm, already there. There. Look at his, look at his arm. He's going to get the underhook. And if I keep applying the pressure, he's going to take my back. If I move back, Kenan also will be able to put it back to the guard. That's the second one. Okay? The third one, I'm going to stack Kennedy. When I stack Kennedy, instead of trying to go to Kennedy's back, run over his head and go to his back, I'm going to grab around Kennedy's waist. And Kennedy is going to do the sit out going to my back. Let's see how it is going to work. I'm going to stack Kennedy. I stack Kennedy. He picks one side. He rolls. When he rolls, instead of going to Kennedy's back, I'm going to grab around Kennedy's back the way I'm doing so. It happens, okay? When this situation happens to you, Kenny is going to keep his head in the center. He's going to grab one of my arms, the way he's doing so. And the reason why he's doing that is to not let me take his back. If Kenny doesn't grab my arm, I'm going to run to his back. If Kenny grabs my arm on this side, I won't be able to take his back. Once Kenny does that, I also is going to grab my pent leg on this side here. Grab over there, Kenny, please. Yeah. See over there for this angle, yeah? He's grabbing simultaneously. Kenny's going to take the knee off the mat, his right knee off the mat, and he's going to kick his left leg all the way through, looking up to the ceiling. And if you notice that, he's bridging over my back. And when Kenny does that, I don't have anywhere to go from this position, and Kenny's going to turn around, and Kenny will be able to end it up on my back. We're going to do it in one motion. First one, Kenny's circling his feet. I time it just to practice. He has the space, he delivers the leg back. Again, the other side, he delivers the leg, the legs back. So he circle his feet, I time it. The second one, try to run to his back. He gets the underhook and I move back. Kenny puts back to the guard. The other side, I time it, there, try to take his back, can he get the underhook, and can he be able to pull it back to the guard. Third one, I stack Kennedy, and when he rolls over the shoulder, I'll do the body lock. When I get the body lock, Kennedy will hold one of my arms, hold my pink leg, Take the knee off the mat and it's going to just sit down. I post my hand on the mat to not get hurt. And Ken is going to bridge over me, turn around, and Ken will be able to end it up on the back. Once again, on the other side. Ken is going to grab my arm, it's going to just sit up, and it's going to bridge, turn around, and Ken will be able to end it up on my back. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel. 
And I hope you guys have a great time watching the three great techniques we showed you when someone stags you to not get hurt. When someone stags you, you can use number one, number two, and number three to take your game to the next level. And I'm going to ask you guys a favor. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give the thumbs up. It's important for us as well. And don't forget to hit that bell below because if you don't do that, the YouTube doesn't send you a notification when we upload a new videos to our YouTube channel. Am I right, Kennedy? Correct. Once again, guys, subscribe, hit the bell below, and I will see you soon. See you all soon.